So introductions in scientific reports are all about providing the theory, providing the theory required to understand your report. So it's about providing the theory that you people should read before approaching your report. So if someone was to pick up your report for the first time, they should be able to identify what they need to understand your results in your discussion. <coughs> Ideally, break into th I'd break it into three or four paragraphs with subheadings. So this isn't like an English paragraph? No, just, it's a scientific report. So this comes before your aim and your hypothesis three or four paragraphs, subheadings, and they can have things like, for example, in our last report, so our last report was based on forces inside a mousetrap racer. So if I was to give an introduction on that, I would include the following subheadings. Newton's second law. Okay, and that would be my first subheading. I would describe what Newton's second law is. I'd have all this information here, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. I'd have the equation F equals MA, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. And I might have rearranged that to show the relationship between mass equals force divided by acceleration, for example. <coughs> yes? <coughs> yeah, it, it's pretty much what we Yeah, again, I wouldn't expect you to put in would I expect you to put in stuff about sine, cos and tan in your mousetrap report? Is it relevant? So if it's not relevant to your theory, you don't want to put it in your report. Yes, Hamish? Is the introduction like explaining to someone that's just like you do it? Basically. Like, what yeah, essentially it's about preparing someone who has not done this science, so someone who's not sitting in a year 10 physics class, so they can have an access to your report. Now, I haven't mentioned in here, the mousetrap racer will do this according to Newton's second law. This is just Newton's second law, what it is, and a bit about the, the equation. Happy with that? My next paragraph might be something along the lines of friction. Okay, so my next, oh, that should be a red to be consistent. My next paragraph would likely be something about friction. Okay, and I'd talk about, so in here I'd talk about things like static friction. I'd talk about things like, so I'd talk about static versus dynamic friction or rolling friction. I'd talk about things like um, normal force. I'd talk about things like coefficient of friction. All that would come in there, so if I was reading this report, I would understand what was going on. Clear with that. What else would I talk about in my mousetrap race report? Maybe I'd mention something like energy efficiency or kinetic energy. Can't spell energy efficiency, but that's okay. I'd talk about that. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. I'm not going to go into that. Again, listing my equation. So all of that should take up between half a page to a page at this level. We're clear with that. So what do we think some things that we should put, or what do we think a point of 
importance in our steak prac? What's something that we should talk about in our steak prac? When we're cooking steaks, what's the most important bit of theory that we think, Phil? Thermal energy. Thermal energy, specifically what? Conduction. Conduction. So if you're not mentioning, mentioning conduction in a thermal conductivity prac, do you think you've done the right thing? No. So inside, inside tip, thermal conductivity should be featured in every person's report. And if you're going to link your data to an equation, you probably would want to have that equation in there, correct? So there, that's a start, okay? That's a start on where we should be going with the introduction. And just a little bit of what an introduction is. Essentially, it's about providing a person who has no experience with the content in your report, provides them a chance of understanding what's being read. Does that mean you're writing it to a year two level? Okay, I don't think many year two students are going to be picking up a thermal conductivity program. But it's about, I'd aim it at, say, a 15-year-old, your own demographic, that's fine. Aim it at your own demographic. If you were to give it to one of your mates, what would you give them to help them understand the practice? Cool.